Welcome back to another installment of the Empowerment Finance segment that I do with my good friend E. Sylphie Taylor. We're about to get into it right now without further ado. Today's topic will cover how to protect your human capital. You don't know what human capital is? E. Sylphie Taylor is going to tell us what that is right now. Welcome back to the financial empowerment segment, brother E. Sophie, good to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. It's so. always good to be suited and booted and you know, ready to go out there yes, with sir. the armor yes, of the yes, assassin yes, on right now. What is human capital and why is it important? Why should we know this? Quite simply, uh, human capital is the present value of your future earnings. So for example, if I uh, was 45 years old and was gonna work until I was 65 and I made $100,000 a year, my human capital would be two million dollars. That's one hundred thousand dollars a year of income for twenty years. Two million dollars, right? That's my human capital. That's the amount of money that I would have otherwise brought into the household if you know if I uh, during my working years. Right. So, how does human capital uh, tie into the need or lack thereof for life insurance? Sure. Um, a lot of times people will say, oh, well, I have life insurance. I'll give you the same scenario. I'm 45 years old, and, you know, I have a 20-year a time horizon to, to retirement or to work, and, and, uh, and I have, I have $250,000 of life insurance. And I say, I've got $250,000 of life insurance, I'm good. Well, if my human capital is $2 million, I haven't effectively replaced the income that I would have otherwise brought into the household. Obviously, I can never replace someone as a, as a, as a father or mother or a husband or a wife. But what I can make sure is that the money that someone would have otherwise brought into the household is there, right? And so if, if I have a $2 million human capital mm -hmm. and I only have $200,000, $300,000 of life insurance, there's a, there's a shortfall, right? So the, the schools I would have wanted my children to go to, the house that I would have wanted them to stay in, I'll be able to make sure that happens if I have adequate life insurance coverage. How do you know which plan to choose or which plan is best for you in your current situation? Right. I always say people get life insurance for one of two reasons, uh, need or greed. And obviously you have the need part and that's replacing your, your human capital. Um, it, it's pretty simple. There's two main types of insurance. You have permanent insurance and you have term insurance. Think of uh, permanent insurance like owning a home and term like renting one. A popular form of permanent insurance is one called whole life, similar to owning a home in that your premium price is fixed at the time of purchase. Mm -hmm. So your age, your health when you buy it, premiums fixed, will never change. Mm -hmm. And as long as you're paying that premium, there's a death benefit that's guaranteed to go income tax free to your beneficiary. Really quickly, what's a death benefit? Speak to that. So I'm paying a premium. If I die, the death benefit is basically the lump sum of dollars that goes to my heirs. Mm -hmm. So if I'm paying for a million dollar policy, that's the death benefit. I pay a premium. Similar to uh, if I have car insurance, I'm paying a premium so that if I crash my car, they're going to replace my car or fix my car, right? And, and so, so life insurance basically allows us to turn pennies in, into dollars. So in a way, insurance can lead to transgenerational wealth and legacy building. Certainly. How does that work? Certainly, certainly. Uh, I always ask a question when I, when I, when I talk to people uh, in, in conferences, I'll ask, do you know your great grandfather's name? Do you know who your great grandfather is? I, I do. Okay, so you do. I do. <laughs> Oftentimes, when I ask that question, the answer is, you know, well, no, I don't. And you want to know why? Most people don't know. Why? Because they weren't left anything. <laughs> if your last name was Kennedy or Rockefeller, you you know who your your great grandfather was, right? Good They're old Chuck, story. Good old Chuck, right? You yeah. Were, <laughs> good old, you would know who who he was, and and that's the thing. Life insurance, again, allows us to turn pennies into dollars. It allows us to basically create instant legacies, right? Mm. If I had a million dollars of, of, of coverage that I, or death benefit for my family, how long would it take me to save a million dollars? Mm. It could take quite a while. Mm -hmm. Whereas literally with an application and one check, one premium, I can create a million dollars of benefit for my family. It's, it's a bit of a, a morbid joke, but I say a permanent life insurance contract is the only insurance contract that you'll buy that I guarantee you'll use. You're not getting out of here alive. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Listen, how can our listeners uh, really connect to you? Because, listen, first and foremost, the brother is giving out valuable information. And, and if you know anything about American society, information is really currency. That's the real currency. Right. People who have the information are not apt to give it away for free, right. for nothing. Right. How can people connect to you? What's your website? If there's a social media connectivity, you need to give it to yeah, them right now. You can, you can reach us online. We're at uh, Taylor, I-N-S, 
f i n dot com. Again, that's Taylor, i n s f i n dot com. You can also reach us in the office, area code six two six three five six seven six three seven. Again, six two six three five six seven six three seven. Man. Again, we'll be back in a couple of weeks with another episode. All of this is designed to empower the community with knowledge that you can use to protect your family's future. You know, finances, in, 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 in American society today, if your finances is out of whack, you're definitely in trouble. So we appreciate you, man. Thank you for stopping by again. And we'll see you guys next week. Financial Empowerment with Zoe Williams.